Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We'll start out with your card of advice. We'll do Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn in that order. What is Taurus's advice for today in love? Wow, way too many. What's Taurus's advice today in love? All right, you got synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect with the web weaver there. Uh, Virgo. What is Virgo's advice in love today? You have the resting tree, patience and stillness in reverse. And Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know in love today? You got... The wise women of Wonderland, integrity and compromise in the reverse. So this deck is by Colette Barrett-Reed. It's the wisdom of the hidden realm. I always read out the book for her definitions because they're amazing. So let's see what they say. All right, Taurus. The web weaver rejoices that your creations are far reaching and have positive effects on many. Every action, every thought, every word and deed is woven into a web of creation. Even the web weaver appears as your ally. She grants you the way to open, or she grants you the way to others of like mind and intention and lets you know that you are not alone in your endeavors. Just when you need to make a connection like magic, synchronicity occurs. Music reverberates through the web and plays harmony in your own. This is a sign to trust in the connectivity between all events. Magic is afoot for you. The web weaver gives you assurance that meaningful coincidence comes through to give you reason of hope in love. Potential grows into reality with care and patience. Remember that the web reaches far and wide and you are only capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust the universe and pay attention to the patterns you see play out in your life. All things are revealed through the web. Wow. All right, Virgos, you have the resting tree in reverse. The resting tree appears as your challenger, asking you to consider if you're so frantic that all you can think about is how stressed you are. Running around and overdoing anything only makes you into a human doing, not a human being. This is a sign to be careful, or you may become physically ill or at the very least unable to enjoy your life. Be still. It's time to meditate and take time out or you'll make some mistakes that you will regret later. Don't worry, all those things you're trying to manage will still be there when you're ready to move forward again. Only when you have a clearer head in which to think can you make the right choices moving forward. So time to meditate and connect to the divine for you, Virgos. All right, Capricorns. When the wise woman of Wonderland appears as a challenger, this is a sign that you have compromised yourself out of fear. Have you been in denial about the truth of your situation? Have you sold yourself short rather than ask for what you really need? Have you given up on a dream for another because of fear of abandonment? The wise woman of Wonderland is gently reminding you that you count. Claim your good and never settle for less. Be fearless and make it so. Why hang around for more disappointment when the wonderful adventures and opportunities are waiting to unfold for you? All right, so let's start with uh, Taurus. All right, Spirit Angels, what messages do Taurus need today in love? Please bring the most important message. It's for their best and greatest good. Thank you. Taurus men, you have the three of wands. Taurus females, you have the knight of pentacles. Your guys' situation today in love is the wheel of fortune. 
your challenge to that uh, situation is the devil. In the recent past, you have the Four of Pentacles. In the near future, you have the Six of or the Queen of Wands in your bottom of the deck and the foundation of your reading. It is the Six of um, Cups. Underneath that is the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who you have a lot of beautiful memories with. Um, they could have been in your life very briefly, but you are coming to a conclusion. You are coming to the truth of the matter um, for all Tauruses. Okay, what do we want to clarify with? Okay, so um, you guys are all dealing with major change, um, with things exiting your life and um, entering your life. This is all about going with the flow. This is completing a complete cycle. Um, a major life transition or change is about to happen. Um, your challenge to uh, the, the challenge with, this is all about going with the flow. The challenge to that is you're overthinking, you're worrying um, to the point where it's becoming toxic, obsessive thoughts, um, obsessive worry, holding on to somebody who is meant to be let go of um, almost obsessively. Uh, in the past, somebody did not invest in you in the way that you had hoped. They were holding on very tightly to their own thoughts, emotions, feelings, and didn't let you in. Um, Taurus men, this could very well be you um, holding on too tightly to something that was supposed to exit your life for both men and women. Um, when these three cards come together, this to me is telling me there's something new coming in for you, but you have to let go of the old before that can happen because this is your challenge. Um, you're holding on to something that needs to be let go of far too tightly, making it very toxic in your life at the moment. So, Taurus men, why do you have the three of wands here? You're thinking about somebody from a distance. I thought something flipped there. Yep. You're thinking about somebody from a distance. Um, could be a Leo or a Sagittarius Aries. But, like, there's something holding you back from going after this person. Um you're wanting this relationship to happen, but you have to face some fears and take some actions that you don't necessarily want to do because you're afraid um, of where that relationship would go. The universe is trying to bring you in somebody for you who is very attractive, very passionate about you and the connection that potentially would move into a secure relationship. This is somebody that you have been with in this lifetime that you feel is your like soul connection a past life soulmate um they're the knight of wands coming in very quickly very passionately you're the knight of pentacles coming in very slow calculated and making every step count and underneath that is the wheel so with the seven of swords you are sabotaging your good fortune by becoming stagnant um moving forward the need to balance, the need to release the toxic energies in your life. Um, could need to release a Leo, let go of a Leo, and and so you can move forward. Could be moving to a Sag. That's the heaviest energy here because it is the first card out, but it does not have to be. This is just somebody who's very passionate about life, very warm, very um, exuberant, very vibrant, uh, a visionary, an entrepreneur. Um, this person would be very good for you. They most definitely would be a blessing, a good fortune in your life. Know that, you know, everything in this universe is, you know, cause and effect. So when you hold on to toxicity too long, it will reverberate throughout your life, uh, making other, you know, making it uncomfortable until you learn to go with the flow to release and allow the universe to bring in what is for you and release what is not. Why is the Queen of Wands here for their near future there's a queen of wands here for Taurus men judgment yeah this is most definitely somebody you've been with already 
Um, this is meant to be your life partner. This is meant to be somebody you are in a long-term commitment with, but you must move forward in order for that to happen and take your take charge of your life. Holy crap, this is a huge bottom of the deck. You are destined for so much more than what you are holding on to. You are meant to go out there and to, you know, be out in the world bringing in huge things for your life. Um, you are meant to be with this person who you find so attractive emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. You know, this person has it together, even though you could be telling yourself that they don't and that's how you're dealing you could be afraid of like rejection or how is it going to work between the two of us um so you're telling yourself that you can't have them when that's not the truth you need to face your fear release your doubt and know that your blessings are on that ship so manifest them and let them come in for you release the toxicity release what is meant to go allow what is meant to come in these three cards, all three of these for me, are Sagittarius. So if you're not dealing with a Sagittarius, I would be very surprised. Either Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, because all three of these are my Saggy cards. So needing to release. So, oh, so is this one. So needing to release so you can move what is destined for you. This is a divine partner. This is meant to be. Um, the two of you are meant to come together and emotionally build and grow and uh and know that synchronicities you're being shown signs from the universe they're trying to give you a wake-up call hello hear my trumpet you will in the near future and you will move towards this person and you will move into a stable relationship for this group of you yeah there's another temperance card there's another sagittarius card for me so by you speaking you need to speak up you need to talk to this person you need to reach out and tell them how you truly feel. Um, you need to find that inner peace, that balance, that healing. Um, so you can move forward um, telling this person how you truly feel. It will work out in, you know, everything that you want is on the other side of this fear. Everything that is meant to be yours is on the other side of facing that doubt and that fear and moving forward. Everything that you want is on that other side of fear, but you have to release the fear because it's becoming toxic in your life and creating this uh, stagnant energy that that is only making you more miserable. Allow the blessings to come in. Allow them to flow, uh, Taurus men. All right, Taurus females. So you have blessings coming in as well, but you are blocking them. You are defeating yourself here. Um, you're holding on to something or someone who is very toxic for you as well. You're just closed off. You're not feeling anything. You just don't want to lose this person. So you are holding on. For some of you, it could be for monetary reasons because you do have the Knight of Pentacles as well. You're trying to decide whether to put that pinnacle in your pocket and move forward or to plant it and see if you can grow with this person again. But this cycle has come to a completion. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a complete cycle and a release of a major life cycle. Um, moving forward, allowing things to come to a close. The longer you hold on to this toxicity, the more negative karma that is created. Um, and you will know who I'm talking about if this is for you. You could be trying to make it work with a Virgo. Both these cards are my Virgo cards. Um, with They could have a Gemini, Gemini or Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, but, oops, um, you're trying to offer this person a new beginning. You're trying to offer this person a new start and they're not even looking up from what they're doing. They're busy doing their own thing and you're like, hello, you can look at me. I'm holding this out to you. Um, and they're not paying attention to it. Okay. So. So when I asked what the Wheel of Fortune was here for, the universe is trying to show you what you could have if you were to let go of whatever toxic situation or person this is. Um, yeah, there's been quite the delay in making a decision. 
whether to let this go or to hold on to it. You're holding on tight to it for the time being, but you're debating, what do I do? Do I let this go? What if, what if something bad happens? Like you're letting your doubt and your fear of being single hold on to something that is, that is deceitful and sneaky. These two things together are not in your highest good. And if this resonates with you, you know who I'm, you know, I'm talking to you because this clearly is toxic to everybody looking in and even you looking out can see the toxicity to it. Um, for this, that this is for this person and you already know this. So if, if you don't know that what I'm about to say, it's not for you, but you know, this person has, uh, been deceitful. You know, they've lied. You know, they have addictions. You know, they've slept around all within this relationship and you're not you weren't seeing your value or your worth you deserve that big cup you deserve things to go in your direction so it's time to release whoever did this to you um so you can see just exactly what the world has to offer you you are receiving this enlightenment in this time so you are i do feel going to move forward and start working on your own you are going to move forward towards victory you are going to be able to release this and walk away releasing all the confusion that this person has put into your life and shedding out the old um, putting the past behind you and you are going to in turn gain this confidence this wisdom this warmth this um, excitement for the future um, you're going to be able to see uh, love and life in a different way Taurus females once you get out of this pain yes you will be able to then move forward creating beautiful memories um, from you know not creating beautiful memories holding on to the beautiful memories that the two of you created but letting go of the pain and um, the heartache that this relationship has caused you you could have been holding on because um, you had children, but you and the children will be just fine. I do feel you, you know, you will have them moving forward. Um, but you're going to be able to get out of this situation, this mental headspace that's held you here, that's trapped you here. Um, going through this transformation is going to give you the courage and strength to remove yourself from this negative situation, making a choice to no longer be kept out in the cold, to no longer be in this relationship that's very cold. Um, and really be able to um, create a brand new chapter in your life. You have the tools in you to heal. You have the tools in you to create whatever life you want. It's all about um, writing the next chapter to your story. And you're truly at a new beginning where your emotions can be balanced and in check. And not all over the place because this person constantly creates upheaval in your life. Um, so Taurus, I do see you releasing this person finally, letting go of the toxicity. Um, the challenge today is only because it had a hold on you for so long, but I do see you moving forward, finding your confidence, finding your, you know, knowing your worth and your value and finding somebody who is not going to make you constantly question that. Okay. Be oops. Beautiful energy. You're fine. You're seeing synchronicities all over the place the divine is um enlightening you to what to do how to move forward and um and start your new chapter in life taurus all right i don't want to use this stick let's do virgos all right virgos sun moon rising and venus what do Virgos need to know in love today? Okay. Virgo men. Whoops. You have the four of wands. Could have Taurus in your chart because you did have that. Uh, Taurus men have that as well. Um, Virgo females, you have the uh, two of swords. Your guys' situation in love today is the page of wands. Your challenge is the knight of pentacles. In your recent past, you have the ace of wands. In your near future, 
you have the magician and the foundation and uh, bottom of the deck. The foundation of your reading is the queen of pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so let me see what we get here. So your, your situation that uh, you are dealing with, Virgos. Okay, so for both Virgo men and women, you have the Page of Wands, which is all about, you know, having this, this adventurous and ener energetic person around you or, or like reaching out to that person. It's all about communication. Um, it's just really, you're connecting with somebody who makes you feel younger, lighter, happier, um, excitement, attention towards things that is bringing you happiness on every level. Um, you know, just the adventurous side of you, the wanting to have that excitement back in uh, your life. The challenge to that is the Knight of Pentacles carries such a slow moving energy. Um, plotting and planning for the future, introspective, slow moving energy that, you know, uh, brings results. But if you remember your uh, card is you need to slow down, you need to meditate, you need to rest, you need to relax because you're frantically moving about so much that you're not able to hear yourself think. You're not able to. So this is your challenge, slowing down, thinking, am I going to plant my seed here? Am I going to plant this pinnacle here and watch it grow? Or am I going to put it in my pocket and move on to the next situation, the next relationship, the next job, whatever it is, and see if it'll grow there. But somebody just brings out that youthful side in you, that excitement in you, and you just want to go forward. Um, but your challenge is to slow down and think, most definitely, because that's both your challenge cards today, to slow down, to meditate, and listen um, so you can make a the right choice. Um, for Virgo men, you're dealing with stability. You're dealing within the stability of the, your four walls, you could be contemplating whether or not to invest in the situation that you've already created or if you want to move forward and plant that pinnacle somewhere else. Because someone in your past, an Aries Leo Sagittarius, um, has awakened your youthful, like has awakened you to wanting to move forward. Um, heavy Sagittarius uh, or Aries here, but it could be Leo. Um Let's see what we got here. Why is a page of wands here for Virgo men? Yes, you are moving forward slowly. Um, you're getting out of the mental prison that you have um, created around you out of fear and doubt. Um, this person could have came into your life very quickly and you're like, this person is too good to be true. How is this? You know, how can it even work out between us? And you already have a stable home, your foundation, the queen of pentacles. So most definitely you already could be married and share a home with somebody because the queen of pentacles with, to me is always the wife. Um, no matter what uh, element we're working with. So this could have been, uh, you could have, you could already be married and that's what the big decision is about. Um, why is this? Yeah, so this could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, like I said, but the wheel brought you in this taste of this excitement, this creation, this um, new beginning for you to move you forward, to get you out of this place of being stuck and move you to a place where you're meant to be. You need to go with the flow. You need to release what needs released and move forward, whatever that means to you. Because it's going to mean different things. Because you're sabotaging your future by having this doubt and fear. And why is the four of wands here for Virgo men? Wow. The four of wands. Bottom of your deck. The knight of pentacles. So you know that where you're at is not exactly where you need to be. Things are moving. Things are changing. Things need to be released. Um, 
you will have stability wherever you go. You have to have faith and you have to have, um, you know, trust in the divine that they're not going to lead you anywhere where um, you're going to, where they aren't going to lead you anywhere where you're not meant to go in this lifetime. Wherever you go, there is a reason for it. There is a reason for everything, whether that be it teaches us a lesson or it brings us a blessing. There's always a reason for everything. So you're being encouraged to get out of this place of being stuck, to reach out and communicate with whoever this is from your past um, and move forward making plans slowly. Um, I feel you will receive that information in your meditation because you're... Uh, potential outcome is the magician starting a brand new cycle single alone having the tools to manifest stability again um and having the power to know that it is you that is creating it it is you that is writing this chapter not everybody else why is the night their challenge okay yeah this is your challenge because it's time for you to start that new chapter and you're still sitting there thinking, what do I do? What's right for me? Where do I go from here? You will, however, overcome that and begin this new chapter in your life um, in the near future. Yeah, making the decision to move forward, making the choice to no longer sabotage your happiness and to step into the path that you're meant to take taking charge and doing what it is that you want to do. Things in your path are going to be illuminated by the universe to show you the way, to show you the way to this new chapter. Look at that. Both of your bottoms of the deck are the queen of pentacles. So you're leaving for some of you one marriage and moving into the potential of uh, another one. That's You have two queen of pentacles and two four of wands. For some of you, you could be truly in love with two people not knowing what to do. But no matter what, things are changing. Allow what's meant to go, go. Allow what's meant to come in to come in. And you can't go wrong. Follow your heart. It'll never lead you in the wrong direction. Because your heart is the only thing in this universe that knows your true map and path home. So follow your heart, not your head, not your friends, not your family, not your neighbors. Do what you want to do and you will be the most successful. All right, Virgo females, why do you have the page here? Nice. You are feeling empowered. You, okay, so you're reaching out to somebody, um, could be a Taurus or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, wanting to start a new life, wanting to create a new beginning with somebody. For some of you, very few, you are communicating with a fire sign that you are pregnant and you don't know what to do. It was a spark of passion, possibly a one night stand, and you don't know where to take this seed and plant it, um, starting this new chapter. So that is for some of you, uh, because you could be becoming a mommy very quickly. Uh, for, for the rest of you who are not pregnant, this is reaching out to somebody that you want to um, have a new beginning with. What is the Knight of Pentacles or challenge? Ooh, the tower. Okay, so for some of you, you have a mistress or like, you know, a third party or you are the third party and you're trying to communicate with this person. Either treat me like I deserve to be treated. Either make me the one and only, the, you know, ruler of this roost or I'm leaving, I'm out. I'm not gonna settle for that energy anymore. Your challenge is to walk away from whatever emotional upheaval that you are experiencing. If they are causing you this much damage, this much sadness and hurt, it's time to invest your seed somewhere else, your pentacle somewhere else, because the empress does not chase. They do not wait around. They do not settle for being a side chick. You need to communicate with this person, listen, I'm a mother effing princess, empress. It's time I be treated like it or I'm out. Because they, an empress does not stand for 
that kind of treatment. Um, by you doing this, it is going to bring you stability. But you right now are questioning, should I speak my truth? Should I tell this person that? What if it comes down to a crashing halt? Well, what if? It's better than being an option instead of the first choice. So I do see you Virgo females reaching out and telling this person, communicating with this person. Either treat me like the high vibration female I am. Offer me stability or you know a commitment and stability or I'm walking away. The tower may come down. They may not be leaving their spouse, but then it's meant to be. It, that's how it's meant to go. Um, because you can't settle for that kind of treatment or it will forever be the way they treat you. We teach our partners how to treat us. Um, and it sometimes takes walking away to show them, to teach them that you will not settle for that third party energy, that you will not settle for not being number one because there are so many people out there, so many opportunities, so many options that will treat you number uno instead of being somebody's option. Why is the magician here for Virgo females? And it's just so hard for you to walk away because this passion was so strong, so intense um, that you want that feeling back. <clears throat> um, and what's going to happen by you standing up for yourself, by you walking, choosing to walk away from being treated like a third party, like an option, it may bring down the world that you know for a little bit, but it will start a new chapter. It will give you the power to the power to stand up for yourself gives you power in the fact that the universe knows that you deserve and only will accept the highest of vibration. And it will then bring in an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to your life. It could be the same person because it is a, um, you know, it was the page, but they will come back at you with an offer of a real commitment. They will raise their vibration from the knight to the king to meet your vibration of the empress. And they will offer you the long-term commitment and you will have manifested the offer or you know the chance to be the wife you will get the love offer that you want because you will manifest that by standing up for yourself um virgo females so amazing it's time to sit with yourself and decide what it is that the divine is trying to tell you to do but for the majority of you you are walking away from being somebody's side chick and you are communicating that today yes it may cause a relationship to end but it'll only bring in a new chapter, a new commitment with either that person that you told that to or somebody new. But either way, they're coming in in high vibration um, relation, er, and offering you a long-term relationship. So win-win, Virgo females. All right, Cappies. Okay, Capricorns, what do they need to know and love today? Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do they need to know and love today? Okay. Capricorn males. You have the moon, sign of cancer. Capricorn females, you have the king of swords, sign of uh, Aquarius for me. Could be a Libra or Gemini as well. Your guys' situation today is the tower. Your challenge to that is the seven of pentacles. In the recent past, you have the queen of cups. In your near future, you have the Hierophant, and, or the Hermit, I mean, sorry, and the bottom of the deck and your foundation to your reading is the Eight of Cups, followed by healing. So by you walking away, Capricorns, um, and stepping into the healing power of the universe, um, it created and caused a tower moment in your guys' life, both male and female. Um, the challenge here is being patient. 
you've planted your seeds of intention. The universe knows what direction you want to go in. If you haven't, do. That could be your in, uh, challenge. You need to let the universe know what is it that I want um, after the upheaval and the um, ending of a relationship. Either you walked away or they did. Um, Capricorns. All right, Capricorn females, you most definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius with those two, uh, with you having both those cards. All right, Capricorn men. Why is the tower here for Capricorn men? Why is the tower here for Capricorn men? You could want, oh my goodness, are you dealing with a Virgo? Just saying. And why is the Seven of Pentacles our challenge? Okay. Why is the Queen of Cups here? I'm just getting a couple extra clarifiers, so I'm sure of what we are dealing with here. Why is the Hermit here? Okay. Judgment in the bottom of the deck is clarifying the Eight of Cups. Holy cow, look at that. Aquarius. The next card's under the deck. Queen of Cups underneath that. You have Queen of Cups here. Wow. Okay, so somebody is not getting a second chance with somebody that they were hoping for. Um, I don't know where that just went. What did I do with that? There it is. <laughs> Okay, so more than likely, Capricorns, you guys are the ones walking away. Usually for me, the Eight of Cups is you walking away. The Five of Cups is them walking away. So Capricorn man, you're refusing to speak with a fire sign. Um, you are walking away, creating this upheaval and this uh, block in communication from this person. Could be uh, Scorpio, um, Cancer. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio again, Virgo. So we got about almost all of them here. But in your recent past, uh, Capricorn men, you there was either a mother figure, a sister, an aunt, or uh, somebody that you were um, connected to that had, you know, could be your partner that did not want to let you go. They did not want the ending of this relationship to happen. And they held on and held on, refused to get divorced, refused to, you know, see things your way. Everything about you was telling you what to do. Every bit of your intuition was trying to lead you in the right path. But like I said, there was a female in your life that did not want this divorce, did not want the severing of this, uh, you know, connection did not want to let you go, didn't want to see the truth. Um, but finally, you had had enough and you are ending this relationship. Um, and your challenge is to um, be patient. And even though you're not offering this love to them anymore, this this apology, this love offer, to, um, to be kind in the severing of this relationship, because it looks like it could get um, kind of like you want to go. You are leaving. You left. Um, and they're wanting to hold on so tight. So, um, you know, try to have that integrity and compromise. Because you guys are going to be going through a divorce. Make sure you're compromising and keeping things up and up. Um, your intuition is leading you and guiding you. You will know where to or what to do. Um, you, in the near future, will retreat from um, the world, finding that healing that you need. Even though you're the one that left, you still want to find your own inner light. Um, and you will then go into this awakening. The ending of this relationship will bring you to a spiritual rebirth, but not until you go into this, uh, you know, retreating from the world, uh, going within, finding answers that you need to know um, that only your heart and soul can tell you. But you are going to find healing from this. You are going to find balance. And it is going to bring you to a better place. It's going to bring you to a higher place spiritually. And, um, and it's just main thing is make sure you have that 
compromise, integrity, and compassion for the severing of this relationship because this person does not want to see the truth of you letting them go. Um, but you're no longer confused. You're wanting out of this connection. Your family could be trying to keep you from um, like leaving this situation as well. Um, but at the end of the day, there, there is no second chance here. You are re removing yourself from the situation, um, Capricorn men. Capricorn females, I feel you are also walking away. You are taking action after thinking long and hard about what you wanted, what you wanted to do. You have that unconditional love for this person, but it's not what you're wanting. You feel like you can't grow here. You can't move forward here. Like it's reached its plateau and you're ready to move on and see what other things you can create. What other um, experiences are yours to be had. Why is the tower here for Capricorn females? Why is the tower here? King of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're you're leaving a husband or a spouse. Can be same sex. Um, but you are walking away from somebody that you had a commitment to. Like I said, the King and Queen of Pentacles to me are always husband and wife. Um, you're taking action and removing yourself from this relationship. Um why is the seven of pentacles their challenge? You need to be patient um, and you need to have give yourself the time needed to heal your mind, body, and soul. Um, new doors of opportunity are going to open up for you, um, but you need to take your time. No need to rush uh, this situation. Allow, Give yourself time to heal. You've already walked away. Now don't rush. Uh, stay in this time of rest and recuperation and rejuvenation so you can um, properly heal and move forward um, in your future. Why is the King of Swords here for? Yeah, because you are deciding to let go. The, the Both these cards are about completing a major life cycle, about letting go of things that are done and opening up to things that are ready to be here for you. So you are coming through that transformation. You are removing yourself from this relationship and you are going with the flow, allowing your blessings to come in and completely ending this relationship, starting your new chapter. Why is the hermit here? Could be dealing with a Virgo, but in the near future, you are going to take that time to uh, reflect on your life and what it is that you want. Um, do not compromise what you want and need out of life because you don't want to let go of this person. That is for Capricorn men especially. Do not compromise what you feel you need out of life because somebody doesn't want to let you go. That is so important because this is meant to be done and over and to move forward and to release so you can, um, so you can start the chapter, that, starting a new chapter so you can move and grow and uh, build the next uh, stage of your life. I do feel you moving forward away from this connection and and towards a more, <clears throat> you know, smoother waters. After, <clears throat> in the near future, you are going to uh, take action very quickly. After you take the time to reflect, you will shoot out of this time of silence. Um, you will project forward in a very successful way because you're coming out of this time of rest with that ace of swords with the truth um with a newfound uh excitement and uh oh what am i thinking of like uh my goodness i'm going blank like an energetic like a energetic like Super excitement. I can't think of the word what I'm trying to think of. Um, why is the Knight of Swords here? Just having a new view on life. A new excitement in life. Um, by you no longer fighting the... Uh, fighting moving forward, you will manifest blessings after blessings. They are on those ships. So you are choosing to make that choice after um, taking a delay this enlightenment will come to you in this um, time that you are working on yourself. And with that comes a new beginning, a new love um, for you, Capricorn. 
So, all right, Earth Signs, I hope you guys enjoyed your message. I want to thank you so very much for coming to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit me a like if you would so please. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.